Inside these boxes, young pelicans and seagulls covered in oil. They were captured Wednesday near Grand Isle, Louisiana, and will be taken to a rehabilitation facility in nearby Hammond to be cleaned and treated. Since the well was capped on July 15th, more than 775 birds have been rescued. That's more than the number brought in during the final month the well was gushing. But rescuers say the animals being found now are more lively and have a much better chance of surviving. We're not seeing the heavy oil wildlife. Um, what we're seeing is a lot of waterlogged wildlife and we're trying to figure out what that means, where that's coming from or how that's happening. Uh, some that are just not uh, flight capable and we can catch them still. Uh, not sure what that means, but we're looking into it. Also being studied, dolphins. Far more than usual have been found dead this summer. 73 in all, typically, you'd expect to find 15 or so in this area. But most of those recovered did not have obvious signs of oil. And even some who did may have drifted into that oil after they died. Tests are still being done on many of the animals. We aren't going to know, I think, for quite a few years on what the real impact was on the food chain and how it affects the, the birds. Right now, it's looking pretty good. We haven't seen the huge numbers that you would have expected on like an Exxon Valdez-like uh, numbers. As for the oil, it is nowhere near as visible as it was in June or even July here, but still can be seen along some shorelines and even on the absorbent boom. You can still see it's, it's still here, uh, and actually the tide actually kind of rejuvenates it, and you can actually smell it in the air right now here. So they're still working to clean this up. In all, about 3,800 oiled birds have been found dead or alive, but as cliche as it sounds, it certainly could have been worse. And over just the past few days, the numbers have begun dropping dramatically. We're not pulling out the same amount of birds, and that's, that's obviously good. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Barataria Bay, Louisiana.